the intersection of Enfield and Lamar. It's the home of a new restaurant called the Austin Java Company. And out back in the parking lot, a local artist is turning an ugly white wall into a mural. It's so big, uh, you have to really walk back and forth, and you're really uh, sword fighting with it and dancing with it all at the same time. Nathan Jensen, a 28-year-old graduate of Pflugerville High School and the University of Texas, whose art now covers everything from walls to limousines. Uh, a good friend of mine decided she wanted to open a limo business and um, called me up and said, would you paint on this limo? But there was a problem. I had done all the drawings and I was ready to start on the car and, um, and then I froze. I was, I was afraid. To renew his inspiration, Jensen drove down to Johnson City. He had done another little job there, painting a three-dimensional mural on the elevator tower of a 125-year-old feed mill. I didn't know what could happen, and, and I, I just learned how I could hurt myself by trial and error. There were some adventures along the way. Come here. I want to show you something. Look on the roof down there. See all the brown and red paint splattered about? There's a story behind that. Somebody came yelling that Nathan fell, and headed up top of the tower to see what was going on and there he was dangling upside down <laughs> what kind of uh what kind of mood was he in well he's screaming and cursing it's a handy way of meeting a lot of new people because um you're up you're the circus in town really you know, hanging off the scaffolding and um painting the picture and they really get to see what goes into making a, a, an artwork so keep an eye out for nathan jensen's work we're likely to see some more of it and don't forget to look up. Out on the porch, Jim Swift, KXAN News 36, Nightcast.